My name is Ernie, I'm also known as Ernie Punk. I live in Braunschweig, uh, that is in Germany. I've been collecting for a while. I can't even really say uh, when it started. What got me into shoes is uh, I started playing basketball in 87, 88. And at that time, um, shoes already played a big role for me and my teammates. We started off with some Converse and Avia shoes. And then we came to basketball shoes from Adidas, especially the Adidas Conductor. Um, that was uh, the shoe of Patrick Ewing, NBA star. In 88, we didn't know much about NBA, but uh, some stars were known already, like Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, Larry Bird, of course, Magic Johnson. I started to uh, buy a newspaper, a basketball newspaper uh, here in Germany, and uh, it was in black and white. Almost on every page, there were pictures um, that uh, showed the Adidas conductor, the Patrick Ewing shoe. And I thought, uh, this is a shoe I have to own. It took another year to convince my mother to buy me that Adidas conductor um, because it was so expensive. 299 marks, that's about um, 150 euros in these days, but that was in 1989. So that was really, really expensive at that time. What keeps me enjoying the sneakers these days is some companies are making really, really good retros. Um, and actually I now have um, the money to buy all the shoes because I'm working for quite a while now. As you can see in my collection, I'm mainly collecting uh, vintage shoes, OGs, from the area what I was just talking about, um, from the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, that was very, uh, that is still very dominant uh, in my collection. This is probably the time that um, influenced me the most in my life and uh, yeah all the shoes that I couldn't buy back in those days because I didn't have the money but I loved so much uh, I'm trying to rebuy these days like probably all the collectors. Good retros have been a problem for many brands uh, in the past but uh, at the moment the brands are putting more effort into uh, bringing back those uh, shoes from the past and um, one reason is that they are actually reaching out to collectors like me and asking them for how uh, they could improve and um, I have uh, lent some uh, OGs of my um, Adidas basketball collection to Adidas original uh, when they were located in Portland and now in Los Angeles also. I've lent them um, some Adidas rivalries in high and low, um, also a Centennial, so um, they had the OGs in hand and uh, could rebuild them in the uh, best possible way. So I'm, I'm really happy about uh, how um, all this turned out, uh, how much effort uh, Adidas Put into bringing back those uh, basketball shoes from the 80s. I can't really say how many pairs um, I have in my collection, something between three and four hundred, maybe more. It consists mainly of basketball shoes. Um, I'd say about 150 OGs maybe, the rest are retros. I have some tennis shoes also, some um, SB um, skateboarding shoes, only Nike SB, uh, also some OG tennis uh, like the Mechatech retros and OGs, for example, uh, also the forum which is really big at the moment, uh, the Adidas forum, I have some, some OGs, uh, player exclusive also from Japanese national team which is quite cool I think. My favorite silhouette is definitely the Adidas Conductor. It influenced me the most. It was the shoe that I admired the most when I was a teenager, like 13, 14 years old. This is an OG Conductor. I have um, all colorways that were released uh, in 1986 of this. Um, I have all these colorways as an OG. It belonged, as I said, to the Adidas uh, Ewing collection, which consists of uh, several models, also um, the Adidas Rivalry, which was like a cheaper version of the Adidas Conductor. Um, also the Adidas Attitude, um, which came out a little bit later in um, 87, 88. The Rivalry also has a, a low top version. These are the shoes I like the most. Um, there are about 14 colorways of the 
Adidas rivalry. I probably own 12 of them as OGs from, from 1986, 1987, 1988. Also about 10, eight colorways of, um, of the Attitude. I have a few colorways of the uh, low version, maybe four or five um, colors of this one, maybe even more. I'd say I have about altogether about 60 different, uh, 60 different versions of this shoe. Uh, the rarest shoe that I actually have in my collection is a Adidas Rivalry High made in 2019. It is so rare because it is a one of one that was specially made for me because I borrowed my um, OGs to Adidas. The designer Andrew Parks called it a Flip Nix colorway of uh, the Adidas Rivalry High. It, is the, it has the opposite colors of the New York Knicks version of the OG rivalry from 1986. It is, has some nice uh, suede uh, on some parts, uh, which is very unusual for an Adidas rivalry. And the best part of it is my Instagram handle is uh, on the tongue label, Ernie Punk. You can see it right here. And it is in the same style as the um, Adidas, the OG Adidas Ewing logo uh, was designed in. One shoe from the Adidas Run DMC collection, uh, which is pretty rare. Uh, it is unworn, unlaced, I think. I gotta check. Uh, the box is awesome, black box with um, red accents. Uh, it says Run DMC here on the box. Uh, the box itself is probably worth uh, quite a lot of money, but uh, when you take a look at the shoe um, it's the Braham yeah it is laced but um, it has never been worn unfortunately the Adidas uh, logo can't be seen on anymore on the tongue um, a beautiful pair very close to the forum it doesn't have uh, the strap another pair that is really nice is this uh, rivalry retro um, also from 2019 or 20. this is actually a, a player's edition for the university of florida something uh, that is very very rare is this shoe it's called adidas peña low um, it's a shoe that was made in spain it is based on the tooling of uh, the adidas conductor and rivalry as you can hear the uh, sole unit is uh, the same Peña was the name of the Spanish basketball team. Juventud Badalona is a very famous Spanish basketball club. Um, for example, NBA player uh, Ricky Rubio uh, started playing uh, at Juventud Badalona. The fans called the, um, called the club or gave the club the nickname Peña and somehow Adidas uh, took that name and uh, made a shoe out of it in the team colors of uh, Juventud Badalona. Um, this is really, really rare because uh, not many shoes uh, of those made in Spain Adidas shoes are around. The signature model of Juan Antonio uh, San Epifanio, uh, Spanish basketball legend uh, in the 80s. This is his uh, Epi 2. Um, it's the second of his signature shoes. It's just beautiful. I have it uh, as an OG. Um, in low and in high. It's a super, super sweet shoe. Um, I really, really like it and I would love uh, Adidas to bring back this shoe. It's just a fantastic, fantastic uh, silhouette. What sets me also apart from other collectors is um, that I'm not only collecting the physical shoes, but I also love uh, to write about them. Um, I started um, writing about Nike SB shoes uh, sometime around 2010, 2011. I wrote for the blog Dunk Bar, um, which some might have might have heard about. Then I started to write for the German Sneakers magazine. Uh, you can see it right here. I wrote, for example, uh, stories about regular meetings of people in different cities like Hamburg, Cologne, um, uh, Munich, and also my hometown Braunschweig. I wrote a story about ourselves 
which you can see right here. Then I uh, got the opportunity to work for Adidas. The collector Quote from Berlin made a book together with Peter O'Toole, um, a designer and an illustrator from uh, the UK. They did the book Quotes Archive. They also did a ZX uh, 420, the Quote tool. Um, I translated the words that Quote wrote down for the book uh, in German. I translated them to, into English. I have ghost written <laughs> um, the words for the texts for uh, the True Originals book from a collector in Berlin uh, called Marlon Knipsel. He has uh, put together beautiful pictures, uh, some interviews and texts. A wooden box came out uh, when this book was released, uh, limited to 50, um, to 50 pieces. Um, it was a very special book, uh, a very special box made by HHV uh, from Berlin, Hip Hop Vinyl, uh, a mail order from Berlin. We enjoyed it a lot and I still do that. I'm still writing uh, for different blocks.